you came here to do laundry. Take them off. Our communal well on Chagos. Okay, you ready? Where should it go, on? Huh? How about this other one? She says not yet. How about that? Here, right here. That's a good bucket. All Needs right, water. Here we go. Oh, Oops, go ahead. You ready? I thought you said that was his job while I poured water. Looks like we both right now. Alright. Oh god, I don't think I can hold it with one hand. Way down in there. How dark is it? Oh there. Now you can get a good picture. A nice rock here, here lined the well. Here goes the bucket. You have to get the bucket down. Yeah, nice bucket. <laughs> It took a little practice to get this thing going in upside down to scoop the water. Actually, Mildred tried about 30 times. I got it first Well, that's time. about how many times it took me to catch on. Oh, you have to go in upside down. Oh, that's what <laughs> Not just any old way. It, it? All right, Keith, we're going to do a little science project here. Can you get me some water? All right, can I test it? Uh, yeah, I'm going to test the water and see if there's any microbes in it. Or actually, more specific, hydrogen sulfide producing bacteria, and that would include most pathogens. <laughs> on uh, most coral atolls where people live, there's pigs, chickens, people, everything yeah. poops on the ground and then goes into the groundwater. Here, there's nobody. Yeah. And so it'll be interesting to see if, if there's common. anything living in this fresh water. Well, yeah, you know, on all the yeah, islands, right? on all the coral atolls, they drink the water after they boil it. They know to boil it. They don't have access to chlorine. So they boil it, and then that's their drinking water. That's all that they have, other than coconuts. Okay, and then this stuff is, like, it's a gold powder. Yeah. And what it does is oxygenate the water. So if there's microbes in here, it encourages them to grow. How long does it take? 24 hours. Right. Although, depending, some really nasty water, which actually came from the public water supply in Ebay, uh, Marshall Islands, about three hours it turned black. And that's how nasty contaminated the public water supply was. Okay, so that's a gold color. And uh, 24 hours, we'll check it. If it's black, you know, there's microbes in it. And it smells like a nasty swamp. Okay. You know, hydrogen sulfide smell. Right. Rotten eggs. Able to post that to see. Yeah. It, right. Okay, the next test. TDS. Total display solids. Okay, right now it's, whoa, it's about high, 382, 384, but you know, 385, but you have been stirring it up quite a bit. You can always take okay. that with us again. 385, 384. Yeah. So um, I might come back at high tide, because I'm going to measure now the depth at low okay. tide. It is low tide right now, and I'll measure the depth, and then at high tide come back and see how much it raises with so the much. ocean tide. Now in um, small island Philippines, yeah. I tested the water that came out of the faucet there. It's very calcified water, and that tested at 285 parts per million. So this is certainly has more nutrients in it, yeah, okay. <laughs> more of something, more solids. Mineral water. Rainwater and rainwater. It keeps coming down here in Chagos. I'm sure the wells on shore are going to be very full. All of our buckets are full on the boat. All of our tanks are full. All of our clothes are washed. We just don't need any more water. But this is the test tube from yesterday. 24 hours later, it's very black in color. Uh, that's no big surprise. I've never tested well water on a coral atoll that didn't turn black, that, does, that wasn't full of hydrogen sulfide producing bacteria. But this test is made by the Hatch Company, H-A-C-H. -H. And the individual packet inside is called Patho Screen. So it's something fun for me to do while we're out cruising around in the islands in, but in particular, I use this for testing dock water at the marinas. And I can tell you, all through Thailand, don't drink the water. Malaysia is very drinkable. It's very good water in, in Malaysia throughout. 
Uh, Indonesia, forget it. Add chlorine or boil the water. Okay, we'll test this rainwater for total displaced solids. PDS. Oh, that's nice. Nice to see. I'll push the hold on here. It's coming down at four. Four parts per million. That's about what you get when you buy drinking water in the bottle. Certainly not the uh, mineral water, but distilled water. And that's sort of quite suitable for battery water, putting in your batteries. Reverse osmosis water doesn't even get down that much. But we have all these yachts around us that have tremendous reverse osmosis capabilities, but they're up around 100 parts per million, 150. We've had some uh, people service their RL water. I swear, it tasted like sea water. They didn't realize how bad their membrane had gotten. But not all rainwater is this clean. This is very unusual. We're out in the middle of the Indian Ocean. There's no cities, there's no pollution out here. Most of it's all been washed out of the atmosphere by the time it gets to this desolate place. If you go to Indonesia, I didn't even test the water, the rainwater that we caught there. It was so full of just contaminants in the bucket. You could see mud around the bucket. And if you taste it, it tasted like auto emissions or like a forest fire, just nasty stuff. I wouldn't put that in my tank. I didn't even want to test it to see what it looked like. So rainwater all around the world is not the same. You really have to be in a very desolate area like out here in Chagos to get good, clean rainwater. Even if it rains for an hour or two in some of these places like Indonesia, that isn't enough to wash all the contaminants out of the atmosphere. If I were to use the water from the well on this coral atoll or any other questionable water source, I would certainly add bleach to the water. And I would follow the World Health Organization guidelines of adding one eighth of a cup of sodium hypochlorite to 50 gallons of water. Since our tanks are 40 gallons, we're actually adding a higher concentration than what is recommended, but that's fine. If there's ever a chlorine smell or a taste, it gases off very quickly. It takes two or three days to dissipate to a low level. And what I try to do in our tank water is to get the level up to the bottom coloration on the swimming pool test kit, 1.1 level. And to test the water, I add water into the test tube up to the mark and then add four drops of the test solution. The right side, the uh, pH test, I really don't care about, I never use it. Natives on all these coral atolls, they know about the contaminants in their well waters, so they always boil it. They have lots of coconut husks to use as, uh, as fuel for their fires. In the July 2015 issue of Practical Sailor magazine, I had an article called Water, What's in It? It covers a lot of these same things that we talked about just now in this video, but you can always go back to Practical Sailor and do a search for Water, What's in It? or my name, Patrick Childress, and the article will come up. It'll be a good handy reference in the future. Thank you very for, much for watching. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has been, please give us a thumbs up and uh, click on the subscribe button. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you soon.